Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching, so keep that in mind. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Today's reading is going to be a past, present, and future spread. Even though I say past, present, and future, please remember time is fluid. So this situation that I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future, and energies can be vice versa. So that's why I'm going to be saying the other person, this person, because feel free to um, flip the roles as they resonate. So today's reading will be a little bit different than my other readings. I've already shuffled the Oracle decks off camera and I'm only going to split the decks on camera to save some time. I'm going to pull one, one deck from each. So then I'm going to be um, using two tarot decks to do the reading. So I'll start with this deck here. Um, Angel of Balance is the first Oracle card here. Okay. Wanting to find equilibrium, balance within yourself, within a situation. All right, hold on. All right, Scorpio, let's see what other messages we have today. Community. Okay. I'm going to read that one um, because in this, in this particular deck, um, every card has a um, relationship message attached to it. So I want to see what this one's about. I think of the Three of Cups card in the tarot, but we'll see what the book says. So for this one, the relationship message is you're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those that you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads and times when you lead and the other follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You are in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. So I feel like with the angel of balance in this card, there is some sort of balance that you're trying to find in your relationship um, where you are learning the proper dance between you and this person. Um, we'll see what the tarot has to say. Spirits, messages for Scorpio, please. In love. Messages for Scorpio, please. Regarding love. Messages for Scorpio, please, spirit. In love. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented. I read all of your comments, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started. I'm just going to wait for one card whoop, to pop out and then I'll lay them all out. So we have the Empress. Beautiful. Following that, we have the Two of Swords. Queen of Wands. Okay. Decision in action here. Eight of Pentacles. I was going to say Seven of Pentacles because it keeps coming out in these readings. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords for the present here. King of Wands. All right, we got a partnership here with the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Near future, we have the Eight of Wands, King of Swords, right under the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. And Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Moon. Wow. Sign of Pisces here. All about the unknown, fear, doubt. We are going to clarify all of these, but what I'm seeing so far on the table is a lot of communication or, or thoughts um, with the whole row here of swords. We also have the eight of wands. Um, we also have a couple here, king of wands and queen of wands. And under that, a my card for reunion or... Um, third party situation. We'll clarify that and see. Um, I feel like with the two of swords, there's a decision that someone is unable to make right now. I feel like they will get the clarity they need to, to make this happen. Um, with the king of swords, this is a decision that's not based on emotion here. With the Empress there and the Eight of Pentacles underneath, I feel like someone's been working on growing something, Scorpio. Someone's been trying to focus on getting something off the ground here, is what I'm seeing. 
So let's clarify these. Let's see what these are. These energies are all about. Scorpio messages regarding love. Messages for Scorpio regarding love. All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. Let's start with the moon. Um, what's this moon about? I'm getting with the moon indecision. This is someone who is at a crossroads before they head out to a journey that they don't know where it leads. This is a path that someone doesn't know where it leads. There's confusion and fear because of that. Knight of Pentacles. This person could also be taking their time before making an offer because they're so unsure and doubtful about the outcome. Tell me more about the moon. Could be a Pisces or someone with Pisces in their chart. Nine of Cups. So this person definitely wants to go after their wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. I have Six of Wands under the deck. So victory. This person wants victory. Tell me more, please, about the Moon Spirit. Thank you. That one just flew out. Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap. Okay. Someone wants long-term stability. This offer is taking its time, but it's going to bring about long-term stability. So tell me about this Empress. Let's get into this. What's this Empress about for Scorpio? This could be a mother or a wife figure. Doesn't have to be. Strength. Okay. Courage, maybe, to approach this Empress. Sign of Leo here. Anything else for the Empress? Spare, why is the Empress here? Okay, Queen of Wands again. Someone wants to take action. They want to have courage to approach this Empress here. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Again with the Queen of Swords and King of Swords, I'm getting someone wants to have clear communication. There's passion here, but this person wants clear communication. Queen of Cups as well. Wow, there's a lot of people on this table. There's a lot of people here. I have a Queen of Cups. I have Queen of Wands showed up twice. King of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Swords on the deck. Tell me about this Two of Swords. What's this indecision? Thank you. Four of Cups. Someone's unhappy, um, bored, unsatisfied. Someone's also thinking that they can't miss an opportunity, but they still hesitate. Tell me more about this Two of Swords. What's this Two of Swords about for Scorpio? This two of Swords. Three of Wands. This person is waiting. This person's waiting for the like a sign, waiting for the right time, waiting for a message back. What else for the Two of Swords? That one I want to flip over. Justice. Interesting. This person could be waiting for something legal to blow over. They could be waiting to make a final decision. I feel like whatever decision they make, it'll rebalance an entire situation. Not an easy decision. I don't feel like this is a light decision for this person with justice. Could be a Libra that they're dealing with here. Page of Cups under the deck. I feel like this person is waiting to make this offer to communicate feelings here, but with justice, I feel like, and the Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this person is going to take their sweet time doing this. Or it's not a situation that can be easily wrapped up here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, she is the life of the party, natural born leader. She's very confident and attractive. Queen of Swords again popped up here. These are two separate people is what I'm getting. There's too many people at this table right now. It's really making me upset. <laughs> and even though I usually focus on just the energies of the cards and not the fact that, you know, there are people here, I have the, th the Three of Cups down here. So I cannot ignore the fact that there's so many people showing up here. It's almost like confirmation for me as a reader. Um, I feel like someone here could also just be communicating um, or cutting out the Queen of Wands. 
this person could be, yeah, this person could be cutting out a fire sign out of their life, or they could be having a serious rational discussion with a queen of wands type energy. Um, doesn't have to be a female, could be a male as well, but this is definitely with king of swords and queen of swords. They are not into BS. I have the two swords here that from justice and the queen of swords. This is the, the queen of swords and king of swords. They don't care to cut out anything that gets in their way, anything that doesn't serve them any longer. Um, I have the nine of swords on the, under the deck. So I feel like this cutting out is not easy for someone. There's three of pentacles here and judgment. Yeah, I feel like someone's making a judgment call on this on this third party situation. Or they're making a judgment call. They they want a second chance to rebuild something. To work on something, to put an effort in something. Five of wands. So someone could be making a final decision regarding this drama that's probably taking place in their life right now. And their focus is on rebalancing the situation with angel of balance with community here. It could also be that there's again, there's three, four, five, six, six animals in this card. Again, I'm getting the sense of either too many people involved, um, a family unit here, something's going on with people here. If this is resonating with you, let me know in the comments who these people are. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Okay, we got the Emperor. The Emperor, hard at work here, sign of Aries. This person has regained their confidence or, again, is working on making this decision. They probably are getting all their ducks in a row before making this final decision. Seven of Wands. In this deck, the Seven of Wands is someone who looks very brave and doesn't have a care in the world, if you can see that face there. Um, they have put up barriers there to almost like do not pass. Um, and there's wolves in front of them, but they're not afraid. So this, is, what I'm getting is this emperor is no longer afraid. Yeah, there's the fool under the deck. This emperor is no longer afraid to try something new, to take a leap of faith here. I feel like it happened with this Ace of Swords and the moon here. What's this Ace of Swords? I feel like this Ace of Swords brought about clarity from whatever moon situation or energy is over here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about for Scorpio, please? Thank you. The hangman, yeah, clarity. Someone's seeing something in a different light, a different perspective, and I feel like this is spiritually guided here. Seven of swords, interesting. Someone could have seen someone else, caught someone else lying, being sneaky, doing something unethical here with the seven of swords. I feel like that ace of swords is like a lightning bolt here for this person, along with judgment. Along with judgment, I feel like someone figured this out. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for Scorpio. Yeah, Nine of Swords came out again. Someone figured out that someone else was doing something and they were stressed about it, anxious about it, but then they, they're gonna take action. Yeah, Eight of Cups are in the deck. This person's walking away from whatever this is based on this newfound clarity. Tell me about the King of Wands. Thank you. Yep, Ace of Wands. This King of Wands is going after a new beginning. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Thank you. Yep, Ace of Pentacles, two Aces. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This person is going after their passionate, like what they're truly passionate about. They're going to make it happen. They're probably going to make a solid offer here based on what has gone down. I feel like this person has freed themselves with the sword. That's what I'm getting. Seven of cups are under the deck. So what I'm seeing here is there, this person has options now. There are doors this person can walk through is what I'm getting. Tell me about this eight of wands. What's eight of wands about down here? This is communication movement. 
moving forward. Wow. Six of Wands, again with victory. This person wants victory. The Fool, again, new beginning. Knight of Swords, yep. Someone rushing in to deliver this message. And there's the Moon again. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but I feel like this person is going into unknown territory. But they're not slowing down. With the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, I'm telling you, this person is, has, is being very brave. Knight of Cups under the deck, yep. This is very clear to me now. This person, whoever they are, they have had newfound clarity about what they truly want. They're rushing to get it. Tell me about this King of Swords. Again, the King of Swords, not afraid to cut anything out. Um, wise, rational. They think about things a lot. They could be a little emotionally distant but doesn't mean that they, wow look two of cups just came out this king of court of swords is going to communicate or either they're gonna oh wow six of cups under the deck okay so this person i feel like has had newfound clarity on a past connection tell me more about this king of swords wow two of cups that's why this person's being so brave. They're going after the person that completes them. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Nope, Two of Cups. And the King of Swords. Spirit wise. Thank you. Four of Wheels or Four of Pentacles. This person is not letting go of this person from their past, is what I'm getting. King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Again, someone's looking back at what they put effort into what they didn't put, what didn't grow, um, what didn't work out, wondering if something's gonna pan out as well. This person could also be thinking about the right time. But King of Pentacles, I mean, again, with a lot of people on this table, Eight of Swords under the deck. Why the Eight of Swords? King of Swords again, 10 of Wands. Wow, this person has really cut out whatever was weighing them down here. I feel like this sword, um, this clarity has shown them a way out of this Eight of Swords energy. And of course, we end with the Three of Cups. So let's see what this is all about. What's this Three of Cups? Thank you. Eight, seven of Cups again. Anything else for this Three of Cups for Scorpio? What's this Three of Cups about? Ace of Cups. The Hierophant. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. So this person, now that they're single, <laughs> they're going to go after someone here to make a, a new offer of love could be with a Taurus doesn't have to be what I'm seeing here is a uh, long-term commitment this person's thinking long-term commitment what I'm seeing here too is at one point this person had a lot of how do I say it a lot of ways to go about offering this cup they were probably in their head about you know, daydream about how to make an offer, how to choose a cup, right? And it's like they finally do. They choose one. I feel like the person they're going after is this nine of pentacles energy here. Someone independent, stable. All this person needs is love here. Yeah. Six of swords, page of pentacles. Someone's traveling towards this energy here to make their offer. It's going to be small, but it's going to be, it's going to be small, but it's going to be what this person truly wants. Um, it's like they want this to go the long haul. So they're going to take their time. And then behind that, I have the Ace of Swords again. So again, clarity. This person has had clarity. They see things clearly now. And they're going to go after what they want.
There's nothing holding them back. I have three aces here. I have full. This is all new energy. But then I also had that six of cups. So I kind of want to clarify that. I want to kind of clarify if this is new, new energy or if we have someone from the past here. I think about the past because I have the three of cups. You know? I feel like this person is going from three cups to one. Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope that it resonated with some of you. Please leave me a comment if you want to share your situation. I love reading the comments. Thanks for your likes and your subscribes. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.